Hi everybody. I don't know if you can hear it, but our our cat started off this video. Um, hey, um, I know it's been a minute. Um, but first of all, hope you had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year and all the good holidays. And that's where I was headed. So yes, <laughs> I beat I, her to it. You did. I hope you had all of those. Um, it, we did. Yeah, we had a great one. Yeah. Other than the cats being really upset with the loud noises on New Year's Eve, but can't help you that. can do. I mean, can't if you have that. dogs or cats, you know exactly what we we're talking about. We had fireworks, about. and uh, you know, I don't. I, I if this is you, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be offensive. I don't understand going out and shooting guns straight up. Yeah. It's gotta come down. Yeah. Anyway, what we're here today for is um, we have done two Alaskan cruises now. Enjoyed both of them immensely. Yes, we did. Yes. For different reasons. Yes. Um, and they were both with Royal Caribbean. And so... Because um, we are royal loyal. We are. Just to let you know. I mean, we're going to look at celebrity, but <laughs> we are. Yeah. Um, and so what we thought we'd do is um, we went on Ovation. Ovation is our first Alaskan cruise. It was a big ship. Yeah. I mean, it's, a it's good not choice. an Oasis class. Um, if you guys are royal and you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it's a big ship. It's a big skinny ship. Uh, we had likes and dislikes there. Yes. The second one we went on, uh, and almost an exact year later, a little later in the month, um, was the Radiance. It's an older ship. Um a and bit we had likes a lot smaller. A lot smaller, yeah. Um, and we had likes and dislikes there. So that's what this is going to be. We're going to chat about um, our take, our likes and dislikes with the two, um, a comparison of the two ships. Yeah, we're just, we go on these trips and we don't think about the comparisons when we're doing them. But then afterwards we go, well, it would have been nice to know that. Whether it's just our input or not. At least we're giving you more information than you might have already had. And that's all we're trying to do is give you some more information on what we've gone through. Or you can just hear us bitching. I mean, <laughs> whatever you're here for. Whatever you're here for. There's that. Um, so I think we're just going to jump right into it. And um, we're going to go with uh, the night before. Um, so we flew in to Vancouver. Okay, hold on. Let me back up. Ovation first because that was the first cruise. We flew yes. into Seattle. Yes. Um, we stayed the night at a hotel, um, mid-range to high-end hotel, very nice. Um, not too far from the ship. Not too far from the ships. No. We we um, Ubered, lifted there. Um, the all of the embarkation and debarkation conversations are going to be a bit skewed than a normal person's. Um, experience only because we are ADA. So there is a different experience for ADA. So when we got there, uh, it, it was chaos. Yeah. It was pure chaos. It was people. It looked like ants everywhere. Honestly. I, I had my scooter on that trip, you, right? You rented a scooter on that trip. Oh, okay. So on that trip, um, instead of bringing her big thing, um, because we were literally just going on the ship um, we weren't going anywhere on land, so we didn't right. need her scooter on land. So she rented it there. That is convenient. Yes. They have a rental space by the doors of the terminal, yeah. and you walk up, you you know, you prearrange. I, I'm sure they could have a walk-up person, yeah. but we prearranged, and she got her scooter, and then they have you wait just right there, and someone, when the doors open for the cruise, they come and get you. I can see that if we weren't ADA, if she didn't have um, a mobility device, that that would be a traumatic um, experience. It was, yeah, it would have been quite the wait. And it's... It's not even the wait. It's the uh, multitude of lines. Um, I'll see if I have any pictures that I can put in here, but if not... There were lines going here, there, um, people talking, people coming out of the same area that people were trying to get into. Um, yeah, the, the boat that we were getting on, the, the ovation, was debarking or the ship. The boat was debarking. but And then all these people are trying to embark. But there was another ship doing the exact same thing. 
in a very, very small area. So when it came time, um, when when it finally they cleared the ship, they came and got us and walked us through. Um, all these people that were standing there were filtered over here, um, and they walked us through to an area that is is more calm. Yeah, way more calm. Um, that you are able to check in, and then they walk you over to another section for um, disability um, oriented people, and you wait there until the doors to the ship open, for lack of better terminology. Right. And you are one of the first to board. So uh, we, we, we are grateful that that is a, a thing that it should, happens. Yeah, it's a bit easier. I could not stand around and wait. There's no way I could have stood that long. No, but... But if, you still have to go through all the same processes, too. But we also would never do this if we didn't have to. Right. We want to make yeah. that note ahead of time for anyone that watches and goes, oh, you're abusing the system. We are not. Yeah. She cannot walk long distances. She cannot stand long distances. And when I say long distance, you know, um, we can't. The grocery store, I think, is your max. That's about my max. We, we've actually we taken a trip to um, Disneyland in Anaheim and we parked in the regular parking structure and our friends wanted to walk over to downtown Disney and then go into the parks. And I got about halfway over and I could not physically, my body would not let me walk any further. Yeah. I just. And I then she's down for days when she does that. And all kinds of other anyway. Stuff. So anyway. Yeah. But, so I just want to make it clear that we're not, we're not advertising this for someone to go abuse the system. Right. right. Um, so. For us, it wasn't a bad process. Right. For the average person, Seattle sucks. As far it's a, as it's a bit of a long process. Yes. Yeah. Now let's switch over to last um, uh, to a Radiance. few months ago, September. Radiance, smaller ship, leaves out of Vancouver. Um, for us, that was problematic. For the night before, we stayed at a hotel. Um, every hotel there is expensive 400 a night and up um yeah. it's bad um price wise so um but it, it was a nice room um i'm sure you saw the video great, beautiful room great, great room. views um when we got there it was seamless um yeah. it actually people that were waiting without the ada um got on the ship before we did so it like i said it's not always a fast pass um, it's a, the, the difference between embarkation between Seattle and Vancouver was like sh sh two to 10 Seattle being a two for most people and, and Vancouver being a 10, literally you, you get a ride up there and you're taken down to this parking lot and you hand off your bags and then you just walk through this thing and you go up an elevator. In Vancouver. And you are already in your process. But what, Everyone. But what I will tell you that she didn't experience, but I, you saw, the walking in Vancouver just to get from your luggage up to the stairs to, to go through security and customs to then walk out this corridor and down the way to check in, then to walk all the way to where you might wait for it. It's. There's a lot of steps. A lot. A lot. So if you are on the fence, if you need a mobility device and you're going out of Vancouver, I, I would be very... The other thing I will say about Vancouver, by the way, I love Vancouver. I love the way that they did everything. Oh, it's nice. But the only reason I loved it is because I had a wheelchair. I had a mm -hmm. mobility scooter, but it was being delivered to our room. So our, I wouldn't have it to our it was cabin. Being to our cabin. And I wouldn't have it until oh, we were actually on the ship. Okay. So I had to. I, there's no way I could have walked as much as she did. They had. They, they kind of watched me a little bit and said, You need a wheelchair. And I so said, Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> going backwards, um, we rented there again. We rented again. Instead of trying to take her scooter. Um, 
internationally. Um, we had a plane change. Didn't we have a plane yes. change? We had a plane change. We just didn't want to deal with the possible loss of her personal scooter. Uh, scooter? Scooter. Um, so we rented again. Now, they don't have one on site. So we got a, a, a scoot around, by the way. Um, if you're interested in calling them and they deliver straight to your cabin. And when you leave your cabin, you leave it there. You just leave it in the that room. That was convenient. Um, however, during all of this, we didn't have a, a device, a mobility device for her. So we had to ask for one, get her as far as she could go. And they had her just sit and, and we waited for, um, wheelchairs to be available. Yeah. Um, and, and that, th that's a wait. I mean, you, you've got legit, I mean, you're going to Alaska. There's a lot of people that are, um, disabled. Uh, it, it just is. Well, um, so, and the port only has a certain amount of wheelchairs and you got to realize that when we're trying to get on the ship, there's people trying to get off the ship. They don't, they, there's not a whole lot of carryover time there's, there. Yeah, it there's just not, happens. not lined up. So, so they had to take people off in their wheelchairs and then when the wheelchair was empty, they'd come and grab one of us that were waiting for the mobility. Yeah. So, so that's that's our... our just um, to let you know that's going to happen. If we had a druther on that, I, well, I don't... Okay. For flying and the ease of not having to go through customs, I would choose Seattle. I would choose Seattle every time. I love Vancouver. It's a beautiful city. Yeah. Their, their port is just so wide open and, and easy and all this stuff, I would still choose Seattle over Vancouver every time. Every time. Yeah. yeah. So um, embarkation. Um, did we kind of cover that? Yeah, Wait. we kind of covered both of them. Wait for the ADA, but okay. easy, seamless. Yeah, we're good. So boarding. Um, when we got on Ovation, which was two years ago, I mean, we were in Ah, uh, uh, a little kind bit. Of like it, little it was bit. one of those. Oh my goodness! You know that you see when you see people's videos. Yeah. We were those people. Yeah. Um, we it was it was a great visually. Um, the obvious, the upfront. Um, I, I what I wrote here is new, bright, and wow factor. It had it all. Yeah. It was. It had the 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 newness look to it. The modern look to it. Um, everything was bright colors. Um. It was. It had the wow factor. Yeah, it definitely had a wow factor to it. So boarding radiance. Um, when we walked in there, um, it's a smaller ship. You don't even. You walk in at an elevator bank. I think you don't walk into any. Well, okay. Difference. Ovation has a promenade. Uh, the radiance class has a centrum. So the big difference um, with Huge. that, and I'll explain that in a minute. Huge difference. So when you walk in on. Um, Radiance, the smaller ship, um, you you go into a bank of elevators and you find your way to this area and, and it's literally the center of the ship and each floor looks down onto all of it. Um, what we liked about that ship visually is the dark woods. The, oh, yeah. If I was Old to school. say uh, um, Gentleman's Club, yeah. Smoker's Lounge. Like a feel. cigar bar type. We yeah, love, love the dark um woods we love that look yep. um so we enjoyed we were pretty happy when we visually got this ship. we enjoyed yeah. it um but i'm not going to say we didn't enjoy the other one so we, i don't think on on the obvious visual i don't think we have a, a a choice there was not a preference between the two correct i mean we do love the dark woods but we also love the openness of the ovation mm -hmm. and and the fact that there was no doubt you were on a vacation when yeah. you got on ovation you were kind of overwhelmed a little bit by the brightness and the colors and all that stuff and with the radiance you weren't overwhelmed with the colors but you were overwhelmed with that calmness of the dark woods yeah. so yeah they're they're an equal measure to me i i enjoyed both of the entrances yeah yeah me too um so rooms um cabins um ovation had more plugs yeah we didn't get an accessible room on Ovation because we, honestly, we didn't really know about it. Then. I don't think we knew about it at all. Um, Which, so we, we had to switch rooms with our friends. Um, they had a room that you walk in and it was bed, then sofa, then balcony. Ours, you walked in and it was sofa, bed, balcony. Now with her scooter, um, if for the one we had, if you park it next to the, the couch, um, the sofa, um, 
trying to get to the bathroom, it it blocked off a lot. It of blocked stuff. off a lot. So they switched with us kindly, so that we could and and sh- we had to kind of lift the mattress to get yeah, her we, in. We shoved we in had to past push, the bed. Yeah. Um, but then it was out of the way. It was out of the way, but we had and we to, can enjoy it, our room. It wasn't easy. No, for that thing to be in there. No. Um, we dressing around it, um, having to lift the bed each time hurt us. Um, and all of that, um, getting trying to get through the door, she kind of ripped off one of the arms because yeah. um, the doors aren't made for these things. Right. Um, so she just used the scooter without arms that whole trip. The room itself, it was nice. Fantastic. Yeah. Loved the view, loved the balcony, loved the layout. It was Again, great. modern. Um, yeah. Had, it had a but So on each side were, were closets. Yes. On each side of, of uh, the bed. So it was almost like a unit and then it had overhead um, storage instead of a closet off to the side. Um, liked that. Yeah. Yeah. I liked the whole side. I liked having my own and you have your own and, and it was just right there. Yeah. Not, okay. Not, yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, um, Radiance, we got an accessible room. Um, it was much easier um, with her with the scooter. Um, we already said that in the video. If, if you wanted to see a funny about the... Um, I, where the lighting just just see if you want to see something funny about the doors in an accessible room watch our video on the radiance because yeah. there's some I almost funny stories in there. people in it there. was um we're gonna turn because i think that let's turn for a minute i think the lighting is um becoming a pain in the butt i'm covering you there we go is that better oh much so we don't have to turn <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So, um, Directors, you know, <laughs> but again, it was an old ship. So we get in and it's, um, we get in and it's really hot in our room. Super hot in our room. Very, very like it was probably 84 Sweating. to 85 degrees in our room. Yeah. On a um, consistent basis. So, you know, of course we fiddled with the thing and waited for it to go down and it just never did. Um, stop saying, um, stop saying, um, so, so we, we called an we, attendant, we called maintenance and they, and came they out. said, um, they'll be there anyway, long story of them not showing up two times. It took the third time and us staying in that cabin and telling them we're staying in that cabin until they get there before they arrived and it actually was broken and they had to go through and do this whole fixing thing. Yeah. He had to climb up into mm-hmm. the ceiling and, and do some adjust. It took about two hours for them to get there to fix it. And it probably took him another hour. That did not ruin our trip. Like some no. people would be like, Oh, that ruined our... It did not ruin our trip. No. Cause they we're, got it working. <laughs> we got it working and we were happy. Uh, and we usually end up waiting for our luggage most of the time anyway, cause we're, we're unpackers. So, um, that's it for that. The room was nice. It was dark again. It was dark. Oh, two plugs, none by your bed, two plugs on, on the desk. And, and I, she has a CPAP. I also have a CPAP so There goes machine. one plug. So one plug. Yeah. So, um, you have just, to kind of be aware of that when you yeah. go to the older and ships. There are actual, um, plugs that are, are, uh, mm. Um, uh, approved, approved by Royal Caribbean. So look that up, not Royal Cruise Lines. Right. Look that up. Um, extension plugs is what n- she's talking about. You know, you can't have the extension cord with the thing, but there's a but plug that has plugs. multiple plugs in yeah. it that you can stick in there and, and it will work for you. And all you have to do is check your, check your cruise website. It'll tell you, and just put that in there, put extensions or, or, additional plugs yeah and you will find it within there and it'll tell you exactly what you can and can't use yeah and if you have a cpap um we've mentioned this on our on our videos but i will say it again you let your stu- cabin steward know they will bring you an extension cord and water and for the, your cpap the the, deionized there's water, no yeah. problem with cpaps yeah you just got to ask yeah. same with refrigerators for um like if you're diabetic or if you need it for a medical reason um, because what's in there is a cooler, not right. a refrigerator. Please don't make that mistake. Um, it, you need a refrigerator if it's medicine. Um, so ask, just ask to have it swapped out. 
So next topic, main dining room. I wrote literally on both of them. Okay. Because it was. Yeah. We didn't dislike it. We no, didn't. It, there, were, well, there, was, there was ups and downs on both yeah. cruises. But I will say this. The food was more oh. than okay. I think we enjoyed the food. But there was other things that made us not want to go back to the main dining. But the food was... We've been hearing a lot of stories about how the food in the main dining room is not that good. It I wasn't disagree. It was okay for me. It was only okay for me. Yeah, it was. It, it was wasn't okay. Better. My stuff was okay a little bit better, but it wasn't something that drew us back. But it wasn't something that chased us away. We we went away because of other situations. Watch the video; you'll understand. I wouldn't go back for the food, um, on Radiance. On Radiance. Ovation was, it wouldn't keep, Ovation wouldn't keep me away. On Radiance, I wouldn't eat dinner in the main dining room again. Maybe it was that sailing. Who knows? Yeah. No talent. But for me, and, and she's right. There was other, you know, you had, you had screaming, you had uh, game playing, kids playing games with, on full volume right next to you. Um, it wasn't a, um dining experience that you would want right with that being said though on ovation and radiance we hit some specialty restaurants ovation does have wonderland um we were both nervous of for wonderland it has um uniquely visual food yes um is that safe yeah yeah um, so we were both like, okay, windjammer after this. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's um, try this out and then we'll go get some real food. It was good. It was better than good. Probably the first of oh, both of the ovation. It was probably close to amazing food. Oh, it was really, really you know what? flavorful. Okay, I get where you're very going. Very different, very unique, because very interesting. Because the visual part of it added to oh my god that tastes like that yeah which made it amazing and each uh, waiter was telling that. a story so it wasn't just sitting down and, and having interesting food it was an interesting experience experience yeah it's an experience the, i found my <laughs> favorite 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 ever ever Old fashioned, and it's it's in the Wonderland, and it's smoked. And I know everyone's trying to do the smoked thing now because it's becoming a popular thing. My first experience with it is it's been in Wonderland. You taste that it. If you like whiskey, if you like an old fashioned. I also learned if you say you don't want to eat at Wonderland, but you want to try that drink, you stop at the front desk and say, "Hey, can I order that drink?" Because it's only there. It's none of the bars. I have did it. that for the rest of the cruise. <laughs> exactly. Once I found that out. So, but we didn't just eat there. We ate at Chops. We ate at um, Jamie's Italian on Ovation and, um, dang it, what's the name of the other? Italian? Oh, my God. Giovanni's. Giovanni's. On Radiance. Um, we had great experiences on both. Giovanni's, we tend to like a little bit more. Giovanni's, we like the flavor more than Jamie's. Correct. But Jamie's, we like the were both, atmosphere. They were both yeah. fantastic. We have only had one problem really um with a specialty restaurant and Correct. that has been hooked for yeah. us um the the ship we ate on hooked on was navigator um that's a ship we tend to go on we're going on again in june uh, it's a ship we tend to go on a lot uh, we felt that we were eating at a subpar uh fish place and and again no was, disrespect if you like this but it's like we went to red lobster yeah it was disappointing for us um, but we've eaten at Izumi at multiple places. We've eaten at, um, you chopped every time, every time. Chopped is fantastic. So if you don't want to spend any extra money there, you're going to find food. You will. Windjammer. Windjammer um, they have, and the main dining. They have Johnny Rockets on some of them. They have, um, what's the other yeah. burger place? I can't think of the other burger place, but that. Oh, the, that's Johnny Rockets. The the Mexican restaurant. Well, not Mexican. So Johnny Rockets but... um, is on a lot of the Royal Caribbean ships. Yeah. They they have a new um, pub on some ships called the Playmakers. The that food, food is, is amazing. Yeah, yeah, the food's great. And it's um, not just pub food. And they it's good food. They're too. coming up with this. Um, we're going off topic. This is not Ovation and Radiance. Okay, 
back to the back to our comparison. Windjammer. We can talk about cruise. Um, we can go on goods, and on. The food is 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 what you would expect in a buffet. You're gonna find what you like after trying bits of everything, right? Yeah. You're gonna find what you like, and when you go to Windjammer, you're gonna go now get what you like, and if you see something different, you're gonna try something else. That is the food. And there's um, usually different stuff good. every night. It's it's um I love having a salad bar. They have a salad bar every single night. Yeah. Every single lunch. Um, that's huge for me, you know. I'm not real big on trying new things or, you know, diversifying my food intake very much, especially at a, a buffet. So I won't try it a large amount of the little things, but I'll tell you something about the Windjammer on both of these ships. Get the burger patty. She's not wrong. I don't even care if you get the bun. Just get the burger patty. It's I, flavored. They, they do it, it, it right. It, it tastes they good. They do it right. It tastes good. That's uh, our I input. would normally not, and... I had a few bites of hers, and finally I'm like, screw it. I'm going to just get one. <laughs> so other food, we've already hit that, the specialty dining. And if they have like a hot dog, um, if they have other foods, try it out. Um, it's usually pretty good. Yeah. It's usually pretty good. Yeah. So entertainment, on ovation, um, they had a lot of different entertainment options. It was an ownership. Uh, they have this place called 270. It's at the front. Back back of the ship and it's this whole it's the whole back like it's, it's a big panoramic it windows and, and stuff. windows and those windows turn into like they have a, a, a shade Stage or show. something uh, where the windows can be used as as a um as a like backdrop a like a video wall type thing yeah and the comfortable it, it we enjoy the shows are good a lot. um radiance oh we didn't like the shows we, Our we tried preference. something on both ships. We tried several things on both ships. We just have to say that Radiance didn't have the entertainment that Ovation did. Now, let me tell you why I said Promenade versus Centrum. So, on the fourth floor is where their stage is set up for the Centrum on Radiance. This is on Radiance, the smaller ship. Um, when someone is belting out some tune or playing jazz or whatever it is they're doing... Having a game show, they do that. It is filtered all the way up and into the hallways down to your room. You yeah. open your room door and you're hearing everything that's happening on the centrum. Personally, I didn't care for that. Yeah, if I want to see a stage show, I want to go somewhere and see a stage show. I don't want to walk out of my room and be inundated by it. Correct. It was a, it was you want to be able to hear it when you hit the doors for said venue. Right, or... Or get not, close to the elevators or something. Not right when you not, walk out of your room. And then everywhere throughout the ship almost. Yeah. You heard it. It's picky, I didn't but care that's, for that. that's, that's us. us. That's us. Um, casino. Well, casino. Backwards for a minute to entertainment. Oh, I also have another one. I will say one. Ovation had a lot more trivia type things that were fun to go to. Radiance didn't have as much. And it seemed very... Mm. Okay, I'm going to call... I'm going to call bullshit on that only for, I think this is where you're going with it. Because Ovation had different places that you could go to yeah. do the different trivias or what have you. Um, so they could have multiple ones at yeah. a time. Um, they had great venues for it. They have a place called the Music Hall, and that venue is amazing. Yeah. Radiance had one. Yeah. And it was in the Schooner Bar. And if you weren't there at least... If not more, a half hour early, you weren't sitting down and joining. Yeah. You were not. There was no place for you to um, sit. And that's that's part of it. It just it it, it is what it is. Yeah. Like they. It, the, the, it's an Alaska trip, and on the Radiance, it's a small ship. No one wants to be outside. It's and we it's went cold and out we there. went on the last month of, uh, last week of September. It's cold. It's raining. So anything inside on a small ship was packed. Well, and the other thing too, everything that was going on in the schooner bar, which was my favorite, right bar. next to two seventy. So Radiance doesn't have a two seventy. Okay, what's that? What was right there outside? Oh, you're talking about the club room, or okay, the room was twice the size of the schooner bar. Always empty. Always empty, and literally a minute walk away. So they could have 
expanded that a lot and, and made a lot more si- people be able to sit around but and enjoy stuff. But we're not going to bitch. But anyway. We're not bitching. Well, we are. But we're trying really <laughs> we're trying hard to just tell you things that we noticed. Um, casino. Um, casino on Ovation, I never smelt it. I don't think even as I was walking through. I walked through it and I, I didn't don't remember smell the it. people smoking. Because there was definitely smoking sections and yeah. non-smoking sections. But I don't remember it. Like no. it's not, I'm, no. Okay, so Radiance, it, again, small shit. However, um, you smelt it everywhere. Everywhere. Like, it you walked out of your again, room and got Centrum, the noise. Then this you got floor the had the smoke. casino. Oh, I'm right in your face. Hi. <laughs> this floor had the casino. And the smoke just filtered out and went everywhere. Right into the center. Right, it in, was... you're standing at the elevator to go to dinner. You smell cigarette smoke. You're it. It was bad. Yeah, if you weren't off the boat or in your room, you smelled smoke. You pretty much smelled cigarette smoke. Yes. And it was. And you had to walk nasty. through it to get to a couple of other venues. Yeah, whatever the venue. Oh, one of the bars down there. We yeah, had yeah. to go through it. But yeah, so, so we were disappointed in that. If that bothers you, um, just be aware. Yeah. Um, I, I can't say do something different because it is what it is. Yeah. Um, ovation, I don't remember ever having a, I don't an remember, awful... Yeah. Okay. We don't remember it at all, so it couldn't have been that bad. Lounges. We kind of touched on that. Um, there's multiple places on Ovation. Yeah, there was a lot of different places now, to go sh- and do different things. I, since we already hit on lounges, let me do shopping. I will say on Ovation, there was a ton of shopping. Yeah. Over 50% of it was jewelry. Yeah. And expensive watches and things that the average person who just dropped a crap ton on this cruise is not going to go buy a $10,000 or whatever. You yeah. know, you get what I'm saying. Um, that was disheartening yeah. is to see so much... Um, just bougie, bougie yeah. stuff. Like I felt like I was, was walking down the street of a tourist shop and they were trying to pull you in. I, I, yeah. I didn't care for that. It wasn't all that entertaining for um, us. But, you know, that doesn't bother us because we just walked by like, yeah. Okay. okay no. Great. We thanks. went and checked it out. We weren't impressed. We left. Um, And whereas on Radiance, they have a very small shopping area. Yes. So everything is combined. I think they had one bougie area and one liquor slash snack area and then one um, logo area right? with all the things. And none of those areas were very big and they all opened into a central area where you could get any of it. Yeah. So. So. Um, but it was. It was okay. It was. Here we have a definite this over this. Pools and jacuzzis. Mm. So the pool and jacuzzi on Ovation, there is plenty of them in the main area, but we do tend to go to Solarium 18 and over. It was 16 and over, by the way, it is now 18 and over and we're good with that. Yeah. Um, it, the ovation has, in my opinion, I've not been on an Oasis class that's coming up in May. Um, the best Solarium ever. The way it's laid out, the it's way... It's on the front, I guess, then. Yeah, just the way the pools are set up, the way the jacuzzis are set up, it's all very open, very comfortable. There was a lot of people there, but you weren't... No. Their There's jacuzzis were as big as this room. Yeah. yeah. They were they were good-sized it jacuzzis. Was, yeah, and there was two of them. Um, four, really. Yeah, two sets of two. Yeah. They were... Um, the pools, there were multiple pools. It almost reminded me of, uh, Jamaica, in Jamaica, the falls, yeah. but there were multiple pools. So you, and, and it did kind of flow into one another, but so it was staggered. So you weren't all just sitting in this round thing. Yeah, we you, loved, you, loved uh, the solarium. Yeah. Uh, you could have like 30 people in the pools, but only four of you in your pool. It was kind of cool. It was. So then we go on Radiance and we're like, oh my gosh, the last weekend in, in September, it's going to be cold. We're going to be in jacuzzis every night. We walk in and, and visually the solarium was so cool. It had it was, elephant statues, the darkness, the dark that yeah, you and I like yeah. visually, um, woods and stuff like that. Um, the pool was, I, I don't remember, a decent size. Um, it was a pool, like a, a small pool because it's for adults. So it's not for children to play in. <laughs> 
And we're looking for the jacuzzis, and we're looking for the jacuzzis, and there's these. So there six were like people. Swim spas from there were your two. House. There were two. <laughs> six people was crowded. Yeah, very and, much so. Um, again, because it was rainy and cold, um, they they allowed everybody in there, um, children included. So you get your six people. And, you know, you wait your 20 minutes and hope or whatever that they come out. And it, it just, we didn't hit jacuzzis no, on this last jacuzzi. The whole no, trip. we did once. We went out to the main pool and they had a bigger jacuzzi. At eight people. Yeah. It was raining. And we got in it. And we just sat there for a minute. We enjoyed it. Because we wanted some kind of jacuzzi experience. So keep that in mind if that's a thing that you enjoy it is a thing we enjoy yeah absolutely we like to get up and like before everybody's heading to breakfast uh -huh. and grab a drink somewhere a coffee, coffee whatever and head to the jacuzzi for an hour it's just a great way to start your day when you're on vacation it is. it's fantastic it is we did not get to do that on the radio no. at all so on ovation um we st our ports were juno skagway and sitka um, Carol and I didn't do much on our first cruise uh, as far as ports are concerned. Yeah. I think the most we did was Skagway. Yeah. We went and walked. It reminded me of Old Town Knott's Berry Farm. It really did with yeah. the wood it's sidewalks. It's a really cool town. It really is. I want to go back. Yeah. Um, but we didn't do much in Juneau. We no. walked the town and did all the shopping and same with Sitka. We hardly did anything in Sitka. Sitka, it was pouring rain and yeah, we had yeah. to go on a half hour bus ride to get to the pouring rain so we can't say anything bad no because we just didn't do it right that's on us very true so on radiance um we the girls that travel with us um got a car and we went in Juneau to see the Mendenhall Glacier. We went um, to see the the whale statue. This is all Juno. Um, our, our stops there were Juno, Ketchikan, and Sitka. Right. Um, in Sitka, we went and saw the Raptor Center and the Totem Pole um, Forest. Uh, it was amazing. In Ketchikan, um, we saw some of it. Um, our, the beds, okay, Royal Caribbean beds. <laughs> they're 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 cement. Um, if you don't like a firm bed, you're going to be in a lot of pain. Yeah. I, we were in a lot of pain. But I already crazy, have we hip in... and back issues, yeah. so add that bed to it for, I think that was our fifth night. Yeah, fourth or fifth night. It I got couldn't really, really bad. walk much. It, really um, bad. it was bad. Yeah. We're going, so because we're Royal Loyal, Royal Loyal we're getting um, air mattress, little camping air mattresses that fold out. Little hikers, um, uh, air mattresses. And we're going to just start bringing those with us because we like everything Royal has to offer, except the beds. Yeah, and beds. all we're asking for is a little bit of cush. But, I mean, I understand it's like a hotel bed. You're going to get something that's used over and over and over again. And that's fine. So we're just going to put an air mattress in there. Correct. We, we, we just wish we would have known that before this trip, that those beds were that hard. I can't. And we would have... We would have got the mattresses before that, and it might have made a little bit better trip, although it was a fantastic trip. Anyway. It, no, it was. We enjoyed the excursions. If you get a chance, though, I will, I, I'm going to say for the car, they got it off of Turo, T-U-R-O. Um, we got to experience yeah, everything, everything we just mentioned, we got to experience without people, because the people filter off the ship and then they filter onto the bus and then the bus drives there we were already there and seeing well, everything with just the four of us or maybe a few others that got a car well wait a minute on one of the cruises you filter off the boat onto a bus that takes you downtown then you so that's get sitka. on another <clears throat> bus to go to your excursion so that's places. sitka um and that was just craziness and we got to just we were be, there when we they got to opened. Be, we got to be one with nature. Yeah. And not a lot of um, others. Yeah, we actually got to the Mendehall Glacier before it opened. By the time we walked down the path, saw the glacier, came all the way back, and then went to the visitor center, the first bus finally arrived. So... It's the way to go. Get the true route. It's the way because to go. Because the car I mean, is parked 
at your port. But if you don't want to, you're not comfortable driving in a in a place that you're not. The buses are fine. Yeah. The, the first one we did the bus. We did a couple. You bus just put trips, your yeah. patience pants on and and <laughs> you go. Yeah. So um, all of that our debarkation. It, it it's just okay. Um, we got a lift on in Seattle on the ovation trip. We got a lift to the airport. Yeah. Um, and if you know Seattle, you know that the airport's a little bit a ways. Yeah. Um, it was a hundred bucks, hundred and twenty bucks. Yeah. Um, cause, because, because, um, on the Radiance, I decided to play a little bit, and I went onto the Radiance web or Royal Reb website, and we booked a bus from the port to the airport for twenty six dollars a person. I'll do was, that every time. It was so smooth. I, we will do that it was so every smooth. time. We're not going to fly into Vancouver again to do that. But no. if, we, if we could but get I the mean, same even, kind of thing in Seattle, we would book it immediately. Yes. Just because it was so smooth. Yes. Yeah. That. Absolutely. Okay. We're dealing with sunset, so our lighting... <laughs> our is, lighting is changing on us constantly. Like <laughs> um, okay. So my preference on a whole is going to be ovation um i loved the 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 look inside i love the, the woods the um the attention to detail on a lot of things um on radiance i i really did but the things that weren't okay were enough for me to not want to go back on it yeah. and that would be the lack of jacuzzis that would be the lack of space to Relax. be able to enjoy. If, if you wanted to go into the schooner bar at any given time just to have a drink. No, because that's where seating. all trivia happened. And yeah. it was back to back to back. So there was no hanging out there. Yeah. At all. And um, the hard thing about that, too, is the schooner bar was also outside two of the specialty restaurants. So if you just mm -hmm. wanted to go down early and have a drink before you went into the restaurant, mm -hmm. you probably couldn't find Couldn't do seating. that either. Yeah. So, um... Yeah. You know, things like that um, that make me, I won't go on Radiance again. I probably won't go on a Radiance class again um, because of the Centrum thing. Yeah. Um, with the noise and the smoke smell, um, I, that I'm I'm done with Radiance class. And that's me. That's, again, that's personal. I know some of you are going to be like, we had a great time. Awesome. Uh, honestly, awesome. Um, we didn't have a bad time. Right. Um, there, we just have preferences. And we now know that that's not part of our preference. Yeah. If there's anything else also that you want to know, I'm sure we're missing a ton. Yeah. Um, leave us a comment. The, the other difference, just to let you know, just like I said, we're just trying to give you guys information. The difference between the Radiance and the Ovation is the Ovation is too big of a ship to go in and do the 360 loop in the other glacier. I don't know what the Hubbard name is. Glacier. Hubbard Glacier. Radiance goes in. And does a super slow 360. It was beautiful. Every room gets a beautiful view of the Hubbard well, Glacier. Every it, balcony room. Every balcony room. It it was it was fantastic that we had that. I love that we've done that. I will not go on this ship again just for that. Right. Because there's too many other things that. It's so my vacation. Agree. I want my vacation to be comfortable. So you and Radiance was not comfortable. For so me. you agree, ovation. Over ovation, Radiance. absolutely. For for size, for for overall everything that they did, for getting to it out of Seattle instead of out of Vancouver, there's just too many ticks. Now we're very we're glad we did it, but we're very negative, and and I don't want that to come across as we hated our cruise. No, because we didn't. We had a blast. Um, it was fun. It was an experience, and um, and the the cities that you stop at on either cruise um, are amazing. But our our druthers would be ovation. So yes. here's what's coming up. Um, I, I, I hope this was helpful. Again, if you have any other questions, um, please don't take it as we're being negative. Um, we're just trying to, from our perspective, what worked and what didn't work for us. Right. So if you have a question, we're not going to come at you all negatively. Yeah, um, no. Leave it, leave it. We will try and answer it honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, coming up, we... Um, 
well, shortly here, we're going to Universal with the family. So you're going to see that. Um, um, and the girls are going to join us. So it'll be a, a, a big little a big little crew that <laughs> we're gonna, we're counteracted. Gonna, we're going to stay at the Hilton. And we're going to go to Universal Studios. So we'll show you those things in the shuttle between the two. And the informational stuff. That and the can, ADA stuff. And the ADA stuff. Because I am. We're Disney goers. And ADA is huge at Disney. Um, the, uh, we haven't had pleasant experiences at the Universal in Florida. Right. We're going to see what the difference is here with um, somebody that is um, has a disability, uh, a mobile disability. Right. So we're going to do that. Um, in May, we're taking um, our first Oasis class ship. Um, we're going to go for a week on um, the Allure, and then we're going to hit... And our first Caribbean cruise. Yes. Um, and then, you know, we're going to be in, in um, Orlando, so... Guess where we're going. Um, and then next February, we're going on the brand new, hasn't even hit the waters yet, um, last Oasis class, which is Utopia. And we're very excited for that. And it's out of Orlando. Wonder what so else we'll be going for a trip. week in Orlando. <laughs> so we've got some stuff coming up. And in betweens um, here and there, as you notice, we are not um, posting as much as we used to because we haven't had time to go and do things like we used to but um when we do we're gonna post it for you oh, we're yeah. gonna ha we're still having fun with this channel and we hope you are too so um hope you have a great weekend it's friday we're gonna, we're gonna three day weekend coming up so we're looking forward to that and we hope we were helpful yeah. and not negative just <laughs> informative we try not to slam anything that we don't like we just try to give you our, our views. perspective yeah, our views of it. Have a great weekend. Have fun. Bye.